Hey guys, it's JM. Um, so really cool. Uh, the guys at Chia Calculator and I were talking on Twitter yesterday about kind of how I would enhance Chia Calculator. I think it's a really useful tool. Uh, the one problem I had was when you're doing the advanced tab, when you try to look at the TCO and the total, which is total cost of ownership and um, you know the actual total estimated earnings over a longer period of time, like three months or six months or a year, you know, the weekly or monthly growth rate doesn't make any sense, right? We're seeing very high daily growth right now because the net network is growing exponentially. Uh, my hypothesis on the net space is that it will continue to grow exponentially until we hit some kind of barriers, whether that be some, you know, responsiveness in the hard drive prices, you know, whether, you know, we could see continued growth if the coin price increases, but most likely, you know, that like all things, they start out very exponential and then they kind of stabilize. Uh, this is called a sigmoid curve. And the way you would model this is basically have exponential growth for a certain amount of time, and then it would actually level off. And uh, let me show you what that looks like. So, boy, I, I sent these guys a Chia calculator, my NetSpace model, and it was like a one day turnaround to where he got it on the website functional. Um, wow, I'm just absolutely mind blown, uh, which is great because I actually want to be a user of this tool. Um, so the first thing that they did was actually change. You can actually start from mainnet launch and then you can actually see the actual growth and so if i were to kind of zoom in here from one month you could actually see the net space growth uh you know for the first month if i zoom in for three months you can see here where we are today it's been uh you know 1.685 exabytes on 5.3 and that's exponential growth here that we're seeing uh but this ex exponential growth can't go on forever so if i just do that you know two percent daily growth and i do it for a year you can see we're going to be here at uh, 946 exabytes. Uh, that doesn't make any sense, right? The entire storage uh, hard drive market this year is like 1.2 to 1.3 zettabytes. So um, and what he's done is added this kind of bounded growth where you can say, how many days of stabilization are there? And the, and the market cap's going to hit a certain point and then kind of stabilize. And maybe it takes 60 days and it stabilizes faster. Maybe it takes you know a little, little bit longer to stabilize, you know, days of exponential growth. Maybe we have lower number of days of exponential growth. And then, so I actually think it's gonna stabilize faster. Um, you know, you know, somewhere like like this where, you know, maybe that's not quite, you know, you can kind of manually play with it, but here you can see four exabytes. You know, if I do like 40 days, it gets to about four exabytes and then it starts slowing down. I, you know, and then maybe, then we, maybe we grow a little bit faster, like 10 petabytes a day and you can kind of see you end the, the year at six exabytes. You can kind of play with this until you get to a curve that you like and, and just say like, okay, seven exabytes. You know, my real hypothesis is that we're gonna end the year at like somewhere between 10 and 20 exabytes because I think Chi is gonna be very successful. And I think the coin price is gonna, you know, go very and model and match very closely to what the actual net space is. So, um, but you, you can play around with it. So you can see here, you know, we have a pretty fast growth up to four exabytes and it starts slowing down. Now, the cool thing now is now we can start thinking like, okay, well, if I started at uh, mainnet launch with, you know, basically, I'd just say zero terabytes, and I plotted at 30 terabytes a day, and I got to one petabyte, um, okay, my earnings would be 1,370 Chia over one year, and I'd return $1.17 million. Wow, that's pretty good. Um, you know, that seems pretty exciting. And now, but that includes that you got a lot of the earnings in this you know, very beginning when the difficulty was very low. And so you can see here in the beginning, you know, your daily earnings would have been, you know, when you have, uh, you know, 600 terabytes while you're still plotting 800 terabytes, you know, your daily earnings were like 20 to 30 Chia. So we'll just pretend we're starting today. Cause I, you know, there's a lot of people today that are just like, Hey, I'm starting today. Um, you know, I, how is this, is Chia going to be profitable? Like, am I going to make any money from Chia? Um, how do I know if it's too late? you know, whatever, we're going to do some more videos on variance and statistics, because I think people need to understand that a little bit more. But um, okay, so we're going to do that same model today. And we're going to say, like, if I bought a petabyte of storage, and you know, we'll just say, you know, for six purposes that storage today, because hard drive, hard drive prices are kind of back at MSRP uh, for a large capacity hard drive. So say you pay, you know, $30 per, per hard drive, right? And so you'd have a thousand terabytes and that would be $30 per terabyte. That would be like $30,000 investment in hard drives. Maybe you need another 30,000 for plotting equipment to get to this petabytes. Well, for 30 terabytes a day, you, you maybe, you only need like a, a server. So maybe that's 10,000 bucks. So 
Um, so this is a pretty reasonable um, you know, investment size here. And you can see, you know, you'd make 572 Chia after one year, and that's a $489,000 return. And if you're spending, you know, 60, 70,000 bucks on plotting hardware, maybe it's, or I mean, on plotting farming hardware, maybe it's a lot less than that. That's a huge, huge return, assuming what the price is today. Uh, okay, so say we have lots of plotting power. We want to go to 150 terabytes a day. Well, wow, that actually didn't change it that much. Um, you know why? It did before, but because the net space is already very high and the difficulty is already very high. All that matters is really your end capacity. When the difficulty was low, all that mattered was your plotting speed. And uh, this one, you, it's like you, you gain an intuition about it by actually doing the models and playing around with it and understanding what happens when you put in different inputs. And you could even go crazier, right? Let's do 300 terabytes a day. And you can see your coin price goes, your uh, Chia earned is 635. And then maybe we say, well, we, we want the net space to be a little bit higher or something. Um, and maybe it goes to 15 petabytes a day growth. And maybe we end the uh, you know, at eight exabytes. You can see kind of what happens to the earnings. But um, this is really fun. And I, I've had a lot of fun playing around with this tool. And I actually use it um, you know, to look at different scenarios on how much should I invest in plotting. If my friends are building hardware and they say, well, should I buy 10 servers or one server? Or should I buy six desktops or two desktops, you know, yeah, I think this is the right way to look at it, right? And if you look at the difficulty now, you're gonna look, notice that most likely the biggest return on your investment today, assuming very large net space growth over the year, is gonna be spending money on hard drive capacity. In the end, that's all that matters. Uh, this is a proof of space, uh, not proof of work. You're not trying to prove how fast you can plot. It's really at the end of the day, uh, you know, proof of space and all that matters is how much farming capacity you have. Um, so uh, bravo, hats off to the Chia calculator guys. This is awesome. I cannot believe they had turned this thing around uh, so fast. I can see here, oh, they included my SSD endurance wiki because um, that's the, the, the place to go to learn about SSD prices. So I actually, the next thing I'm gonna do is help them with uh, some of the costs and some of the other things that in this, uh, you know, down here to basically help people work through that equation that I just mentioned, which is like, how much do you spend on plotting hardware? How much do you spend on farming hardware? Um, is Chia still gonna be profitable? It is going to be profitable for a very long time. Um, you know, it, but so let's, let's take another modest approach. Um, let's just say, I don't have two petabytes. I have, you know, enough to buy 200 terabytes and I can plot it. I'm just buying like one, I'm just buying basically one server or your one high-end desktop, whatever. Like can do five terabytes a day. And I'm gonna stop at 200 terabytes. Well, this says with this model, um, even at the ending net space of 8.5 um, exabytes in four, you know, Mar uh, April next year, okay, maybe that's a little bit low. You know, maybe we'll, maybe we'll say 30 days of exponential growth. And maybe we'll do like 40 days of stabilization. and like 25. Okay, now we're at 13 exabytes. So if I buy 200 terabytes and I'm just one system and the, the price stays around $855, I will earn 80 XCH after one year on average. And uh, you could be luckier, you could be a little bit unluckier, but you know that's $69,000, uh, which uh, is far at, you know, far over uh, the cost of one desktop and 200 terabytes. So these people that are like, oh, it's not going to be profitable. Um, they haven't run through the numbers, quite frankly. And uh, yeah, it's still going to be profitable for a very long time, especially if you're buying 18 terabyte hard drives that you can run for a very long time that are going to be very cost efficient and energy efficient to run over time. So yeah, to just do the models yourself, uh, see what works for you and use this as a tool, like everything to figure out, um, you know, how, how much to invest. Uh, so yeah, again, thanks. Thank you guys uh, at the Geo Calculator. This is awesome. Bye-bye.